Hi friends! Today we are making paper bridges and seeing if we can have any animals be able to cross the bridge if I make it strong enough. See, Michelangelo is our artist of the week and we learned he was a painter, a sculptor, and an architect. He designed things. He designed buildings and structures and he also painted on ceilings. So today one of your assignments was to try to draw a picture of a sculpture upside down, like Michelangelo did, laying on his back painting the Sistine Chapel, which was amazing. But today, we're gonna try to make a bridge. So, just take some paper any way you want. I was thinking of just folding them and making braces. Which I think this will work. But how long can I make it, right? How many animals can be on this? And there's my bridge. All right, let's see if I can put some animals on there. I think I'll do a pattern. One, two, oh, okay, so it needs to be stronger. All right, thinking, 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 maybe this way long ways. Let's try that. Okay, let's see if this will work. Do you think it's going to work? What do you think? It has to overlap, has to crisscross, stay connected, because if you were walking on a bridge and there was a gap and you were way up high, you could fall. All right, let's try this way. Let's start with our bunny. One. Oh, I think this is going to work. Cat. Two. Oh. Okay. You're going to have to show me if you can make a successful paper bridge. Maybe standing tall. Oh, this is the trick. Like their columns. Maybe. try. Oh, I'm excited. I'm going to start in the middle. One. Oh, this might be the trick. Three again. All right. Let's see if you get success. Have fun with this. 